Hey, hey! How you doing, pod people? I was just having myself some uh, cookies and milk. <laughs> you know me, my cookies. <laughs> so, this is one of my friends' whipping cream. Another one of their white pets for Snow White month of December. Um, this guy was actually a rescue. Um, I will actually put a picture at the end of the video so you guys can kind of see and what kind of condition that uh, he was in when he came to us. He was uh, about 17 and a half grams when we got him. And now he's up to a healthy 81.5 today. Um, and I wanted to get a little bit serious about pets and reptiles and amphibians and things like that. Um, they do require particular care. And uh, I understand that everybody, you know, see something cute in a pet store or what have you and they want to have something like that but please people if you aren't ready to take all the responsibility of taking care of that animal please leave it for the next person that might have the particular uh, setup or you know the means to take care of that animal um, like I say they're cute they're, they're wonderful animals, but if you're not ready to take on that type of responsibility, um, then, then leave it for the next person that might be ready for some, some kind of responsibility for that. Um, we see too many animals, especially reptiles and amphibians out there uh, that need rescuing um, because people get them because they're cute and they don't have the proper care, lighting, nutrition, so on and so forth, and they don't do well. And uh, it's horrible to see. Luckily, there are people out there that do support, um, you know, getting, getting those rescues, but not all of them get rescued. So let's make sure we're being, being responsible, people, responsible pet owners. Um, all right. On to something else a little bit funner. Let's do our pot of the week. This week we're gonna go over something that is uh, probably the most widely used pod in the bioactive enclosure scenario. Um, and we're gonna be doing the dwarf whites. Um, and uh, we will go over those here in just a moment. But I wanted to give you one last look at this little guy. Whipping cream. Of course, my daughter named him, <laughs> and he's our pride and joy. All right, we'll see you next week, folks, and Merry Christmas. All right, dwarf whites, or Trichorhenna tomentosa, I believe is how you pronounce that. <laughs> uh, so these guys are one that really enjoys moisture quite a bit. Um, not wet, but moist. Uh, they make them a great candidate for moisture loving uh, geckos frogs so, so on and so forth um, these guys are parthenogenic which means that basically they're for the most part female only for the most part uh, and they make their own basically their own exact copies of themselves um, somewhat I guess you'd call that kind of like asexual um, there's no male needed, all females making exact copies of themselves. So needless to say, once they get going, they can really get going. Um, but yeah, so these guys do like they, about at least 50% of their environment or enclosure moist uh, up to like 90%. Um, I keep this almost at 100% moisture. Um, and like I say, not wet, not, not something where you can grab, grab the dirt and wring out any, any, uh, water out of it, but just moist. They do like it moist and humid. Um, they do cohab well with what I like to call topper isopods, like your, you know, Lavis or, you know, all your Parsilio, Armadillidium. You know your skeebers, your your you know all your all your things that are going to be more so the first to the scene when there's food to clean up or poo poos to clean up. Those topper guys are going to be 
the first ones of the scene whereas these guys that are more subterranean are going to find that food secondary you know kind of when everybody's done with it and they'll find it from the bottom side uh, from the dirt and soil and uh, kind of clean up the rest for the most part along with springtails and so on and so forth um, let's take a look at these guys real quick I may have to do a little digging in order to get them visible here let's see what we got here there's springtails let's dig up the soil a little bit see if we can oh there's a whole bunch so these guys are really small they get their name dwarf for a reason and like i say they do cohab with those toppers uh quite well um, they're the second ones to the scene uh, another another type of ones that would that i am okay with with the cohabbing scenario is like your dwarf purples maybe like venezuela parvis your dwarf species that are more subterranean um, and secondary to the scene and they don't really you know have an opportunity to be um, going after the same food or out competing each other for food because these guys are just happy well enough digging through the soil looking for nutrients as well you know and, and breaking down leaf litter and so on and so forth so if they're secondary to the food uh, it's not not that big of a deal um, <clears throat> and everybody's gonna eat and be fine uh, but yeah I don't really necessarily condone you know more than one species in an environment that's more of a topper like I wouldn't necessarily put armadillidium and uh, Persilio species together because they will eventually outcompete each other and one of the species will suffer uh, generally the one that doesn't populate nearly as fast is going to be the, the one that suffers a little bit there um, some people do it but I don't necessarily condone it just like some species of uh, uh, reptiles or amphibians are okay to cohab and some aren't so all right i think that will do it for the day uh, make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button um, we'll see you after uh, after christmas so merry christmas to everybody and i would like to mention if you've been checking out some of my new shirt designs make sure you're hitting up our teespring which is available uh, through our website there's links on on the shirt designs and we have all sorts of different shirt designs going um, and there's different uh, products you can get those designs on app you know when you go into the teespring i mean we have t-shirts sweatshirts masks fanny packs i mean come on fanny packs <laughs> all right we'll see you next time and merry christmas everyone and enjoy your time off if you got time off with your family and let's be safe out there Pod Solo out. Bye.